Well, I'm in the King's Grant Little Neck area now, getting ready to pick up some household knives for a valuation. I don't know how many. Turn next right. Stand by. Arrive at your destination. Mm, look at that. They stuck them in the box. <laughs> Looks like a million in there. Gracious me. Stand by. Twenty knives in that little basket. Some really nice knives. Most of these are Henkels. This is a Gustav Earl somebody. We have a family of saboteurs, some three old carbon steel ones, a stainless steel one, and a modern and two modern ones. I got two Harris Teeters. This one says Robinson. I don't know what these three are. It, these two say China on the back. Here's a Hoffritz. This is in bad shape. But it's a nice knife. A gathering. And then you've seen the butchers before, but there they are. And there's Boo Boo. Just in the kitchen. Somebody's going to the vet today for his first time since 2013. This is Katmandu, a wild feral cat. He's been drugged. He's still a little shaky though. I don't know if we can handle him or not. I hope they know what they're getting their hands on. Go to sleep, boy. They told us in 2013 to never bring him back ever. <laughs> That's when we first trapped him. Stand by for more. 2013 of March to 2021 of February. His second visit ever. Uh, he looks still drugged pretty good. That's a good thing. Okay. Well, man, dude's out of it. He's out of his coma. He's back on the chair now. He's going to get on this little bed, I think. Got his toes all clammed off. Got his Rayleigh shot. He's uh, not a happy camper. Well, I got the first drop off today of knives. It's uh, Tuesday, about nine o'clock. Let's see what's inside this egg crate. This is the first time I ever got knives in an egg crate. But I got them in lots of other things, but never egg crate. Appears to be two shuns, and I'm not sure what that one is. Wrapped in tinfoil even. He 
can see a few chips along the blade of the uh, whatever you want to call that sand that's showing. This one's a serrated, and this one's a hammered stall cutlery. Okay, I'm gonna go. I got two pickups after this later in the afternoon. I don't know what they're gonna consist of. Well, look at that. We just put the 600 on the shaft and we got her charging. First time she's been charging. Well, it's the first time she's never been used yet since we got her back from the factory four or five months ago. But we're getting ready to go for a spin in a day or two. Not today, not tomorrow, not Friday, but maybe Saturday afternoon and Sunday. Maybe surf church for a change. That'd be different, wouldn't it? The wart from hell just got a treatment. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Well, this is what we picked up this afternoon. Looked like handles, except for this one shun. Put a few little chippies along the blade. And the other little package is a scissors I can see. Stand by a minute. We got a Cafalon, Chicago cutlery, and a pair of, looks like Scott. Scissors. We'll put them right there on our wolf scissor jig. And we'll be done with them in just a few minutes. Stand by. Well, my bi-weekly knife exchange and hatchet axe exchange didn't fare too well. Got 10 out of 10 this time. Well, I actually got eight broken. And two that just slid on and off a little bit. These two didn't break. They just slid up and down the handle. But the rest of them just cracked off like that. What we did do is, well, I should say what they did due to the cost of replacing the handles and the handles themselves, they decided to try some fiberglass handles that Cobalt makes. Uh, Lowe's sells a hatchet called Cobalt with a fiberglass handle in it. Well, they got two of them tried them. They didn't break, but they bounced so bad they flew all the way back most every time if it didn't hit on the head. If the, if the fiberglass handle hit, it flew all the way back to the person throwing the axe. So I think they ruled that out and they're going to stick with the wood. I got to order more handles. There they are. Well, the first ticket of the day is a pocket knife. The second ticket is going to be some globals, but I got to pick them up. This one was dropped off about an hour ago. I'll get back to you. Well, it says Wegmans. Feel good about meals to go, but in actuality, it's globals to go. Let's see what's in there. Pretty nice bag, too. Five nice globals. One long serrated, Santuco, 
chefs, I guess. I call that San Tuco and a little para. I'm gonna carry them to the farmer's market with me tomorrow and sharpen them. Just stay warm, maybe. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Well, it's a cold, brisk morning in Virginia. Not as bad as a lot of places have got it. We're not even going to put our tent up. It's not overly windy, it's just we want more sunlight. I'm starting to block the street off now, but not quite all the way yet. Oyster Man, Clam Man, he's setting up. The other market vendors are in their normal spot. The produce, there's one produce guy is going to come out here with us on this little spot right in front of it. It's Oyster Man. Other than that, it's uh, in the high 30s, I think. They claim it's going to be uh, maybe 40 at a high. You need a hand with that, buddy? Uh, no, sir. I appreciate it. Now. Leader. Well, the seafood guy's got all the business today. He got them in a line waiting to get oysters and clams and tuna, things like that. The vegetable guy, he's got a few customers, but nothing like the seafood guy. Big Dingy Donut, they're the best donuts I've ever seen. I've never tried Look one of them, these. but I sharpened her knives. Oh my goodness. This is some of the homework I brought home. Loafers, grass trimmers, hedge trimmers, got two of them. This is from the same lady, big long slicing knives. And from another customer, I got two pair. I ain't never seen that they're type, some type of hair scissor. But they're rusty and nasty. Terrible inside. Okay. And, and, stand by. We got, uh, we got a drop off in the milk box too, I think. From my best life customer ever. You remember that guy had them new knives last week in the, in the block. So he's dropped off something in the milk box. This guy's got a lot of knives. We'll take them out when we get inside. You've seen some of these before. These are new. They're sort of like the ones he brought in the block. Same type of handle. But they're all the same. These must be steak knives. But there wasn't any slot for them in the block. But they come in these plastic sleeves. You know, they're Dalstrom's. I see that. Oh, they're not even the same creature. And you've seen this many times and these other three many times. It's the best knife customer I have. So I thought I was done with knives until this box showed up. Oh, it only got two tickets in it. That's okay. Two's better than none. We got a, looks like a Chinese chef. Can't tell with this ticket. This looks like a heckle. Okay, two more tickets. <laughs>